Well, you know, we've heard a lot of talk lately about AR-15 guns, and the discussion is usually because the rifles are in the hands of a lot of criminals, but not this time. That's right. That's changing. Fox 26's Donnelly Keith is live in Precinct 4, where more deputies are now equipped with AR-15s. Donnelly. Yeah, many deputies here in Precinct 4 are now armed with AR-15 rifles and at $1,000 a pop with violent crime on the rise, Constable Mark Herman says it's taxpayer dollars well spent. It's uh, uh, just a, a safety tool for our deputies uh, to better protect our communities and the deputies themselves. A number of deputy constables here in Harris County Precinct 4 are now equipped with these. AR-15 semi-automatic rifles. You're at a disadvantage if you don't have one. And uh, we want our people to, to have superior uh, tools at their disposal. In fact, a number of area law officers have been shot recently with AR-15 rifles, including Corporal Charles Galloway, who was shot during a traffic stop, and deputies Kareem Atkins, Joaquin Bartham, and Daryl Garrett, who were working an extra job at a nightclub. We had uh, Corporal Galloway here recently slaughtered in Precinct 5. Uh, my deputy, Deputy Atkins, back in October of uh, last year, was uh, shot by one of these rifles. Uh, the criminals have these rifles. Rifles, and so will we. When Deputy Atkins was killed in October, deputies Joaquin Bartham and Daryl Garrett survived. Garrett is still in the hospital. Every couple of days he has to have dialysis because he lost both kidneys. Uh, he is not able to walk. We, they doubt he'll ever walk again. Residents we spoke with say they're glad law officers are no longer outgunned by the bad guys. Some say crime has gotten so out of control they recently bought a gun after never owning one before. Never owned a gun, ever. And now, all of a sudden, I feel the need because I'm that frightened. It does scare me because it's like people are just out here committing crimes with no second thoughts about it. And not only that, the courts are just letting criminals out like it's nothing. And Constable Herman says he hopes they never have to use the AR-15 rifles, but he says his deputies now have them in case they do. Reporting live in Precinct 4, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.